What up, what up, what up, what up? Yeah, you caught Dave Chappelle off guard. You caught him off guard. He wasn't ready. But his goons handled that. Dude got stomped out. I just saw a picture of the dude, what it looked like going into that ambulance. <laughs> but I bet you next time, I bet you next time, every show Dave Chappelle do, Dave be ready. Run up on Dave Chappelle if you want to. Holler back. What up, what up, what up, what up? Yeah, you caught Dave Chappelle off guard. You caught him off guard. He wasn't ready. But his goons handled that. Dude got stomped out. I just saw a picture of the dude, what it looked like going into that ambulance. <laughs> but I bet you next time, I bet you next time, every show Dave Chappelle do, Dave be ready. Run up on Dave Chappelle if you want to. Holler back. What up, what up, what up, what up? Yeah, you caught Dave Chappelle off guard. You caught him off guard. He wasn't ready. But his goons handled that. Dude got stomped out. I just saw a picture of the dude, what it looked like going into that ambulance. <laughs> but I bet you next time, I bet you next time, every show Dave Chappelle do, Dave be ready. Run up on Dave Chappelle if you want to. Holler back. What up, what up, what up? So now we have... Uh, Dave Chappelle incident or being attacked on stage. Some idiot ran up on the stage and tackled Dave Chappelle. Um, they say he had a possible gun or a knife or a knife attached to some type of gun or something. But luckily, uh, Dave wasn't shot or stabbed or hurt or injured. It just caught him off guard. I'm sure, sure. I'm sure he was a little scared, you know, because he's you know, not knowing what, what's going down. And uh, it's very unfortunate something like that happened. And uh, like I said, it's uh, happening too much now. I mean, now don't get me wrong. There's comedians or comics that probably have crossed the line and Sometimes people get up on stage and assault them. I mean, they're comics. They're gonna make jokes, and is but is there is that gray area or is that that crossing the line? I'm sure. I'm sure there have been comedians got into fights and probably deserve something like that. But at the end of the day, they still a comic. Um, so so far, I've saw three incidents of this happening. Uh, one dude at the Laugh Factory, I believe. Uh, Chris Rock at the Oscars, and then Dave Chappelle. These are the two more famous ones. Now, when I first brought it up, and I'm pretty sure, like a lot of people, uh, we thought that was a joke with Chris Rock and Will Smith. But then, at the end of the day, come to find out that it was for real. It was for real. And, uh, you know, and it's very sad that it was for real between them two, Chris Rock and Will Smith. And, uh, so at the end of the day, Will Smith and Chris Rock. I think, and a lot of people agree with me, that it set us back, man. Um, that to us, uh, to me, it was just a joke. To a lot of people, it was just a joke. Now, a lot of people didn't know that Jada Pinkett was, had alopecia. Now, is it a, a, a disease or illness that is real serious? No, nah, it ain't life-threatening. It just makes your hair fall out. And, you know, sometimes you have patches. Now, a lot of people thought that Jada was just cutting her hair off, going bald, or just went bald, wanted a new look, like a lot of women went and did it. And uh, some women did it, you know, go bald because of cancer, uh, or they support their friend with cancer. That's why a lot of women cut their hair all off. Uh, 
but no one, I, I didn't know Jada Pickett had that illness, alopecia. Now, did Chris Rock know she had alopecia? I doubt it. But once again, I think it was just a joke. And for Will Smith to walk up on stage and uh, slap him, you know, I'm not saying don't defend your woman. I'm not saying that. But for you to, at the biggest thing in the world, the Oscars, and you knowing you're nominated for an award and you still won the award, you decide to go up and slap a man over a joke? And like 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 Ricky Samada said, I'd have stood up and went either left or right, caught the man backstage. Or like you said, Ricky Samada said, hey, which way he go go off? Okay, then whatever way he went off stage, and that's the way I would have went, I would have caught him backstage and talked to him. Let the man defend himself. Let the man come over to say, uh, man, I'm sorry it was a joke. I wasn't trying to trying to be, you know, you know, rude or anything. Or say, man, fuck you. I meant that joke. You know, give the man a chance. You know, you just go up there and just slap the man. And uh, like I said, it's Will Smith is getting what he deserves. Now, what up, what up, what up, what up? Here to talk about Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. So, with him getting attacked on stage and all that, what do y'all think about it? Now, this is my opinion, in my opinion alone. That dude got what he deserved. Because Dave Chappelle ain't no joke, my boy. You know, yeah, he had people up there. Security came and got him, but... Shit, Dave Propel, you ain't finna fuck with Dave Propel. You know, you go get away with it. Just imagine he knew that shit was coming. He would have really been ready for you. So just imagine if Dave Chappelle knew you was finna run up there on stage. You'd have got, really got your ass whooped by Dave. So... I don't give a damn. I think Dave Chappelle did the right thing, and and whooping that helping whoop that dude's ass went over and got him son. Good, good. I'm glad to see. They and then they pulled him off. They pulled him back, you know. But they let him get enough, just enough. They hit that nigga in the forehead. Hit that dude in the forehead. That dude really got what was coming to him. And and, <laughs> and Chris Rock. Came out and was like, uh, was that Will Smith? I think this shit is funny. I think it's all the way live. I think it's all the way live. I think it's cool. You know, run up there on stage. Yeah, you run up to the stage. Uh huh. That ain't Will. That ain't that ain't Chris Rock. He ran up on. See, see, Will Smith did it to the right person because he knew. Chris Rock wasn't going to fight back. He knew that. So that's why he did that. So now, it's the running joke. So, for all you people out there thinking y'all just want to run up on somebody, it's it's jokes, first of all. It's jokes. You don't like their jokes, you ain't got to go to their show. You don't like their jokes at the show, get up and walk out. Walk, leave. You ain't got to sit there and, and listen to that. You ain't got to put yourself through that feud. If you really get offended by those jokes, leave. Don't go. And yeah, you can voice your opinion online. You can say whatever. Say you was offended. You know, you can cuss them out online or whatever you want to do. But when you decide to go to a show and think you're going to run up on that stage, best believe there's going to be hands put on you. Somebody's going to put hands on you. It ain't going to be as easy what you thought it was going to be. It is not going to be easy. So, you know, you, you can you can say whatever you want to say, you know. Uh, but it's, it's not going to happen what you think is going to happen. I mean, I get tired of hearing the N-word all the time. I get hot, tired of hearing certain things. But... I mean, I let a lot of that stuff what comedians say roll. Because, and then too, 
a lot of it is their own experience and dealing with the hood. Somebody they know. And they'll tell you that. Life experience. Comedians talk about shit from the hood. Steve Harvey does it all the time. I always talk about shit from his neighborhood. Talk about his family because he knows it's true. And it's just jokes. I mean, his family have one or two things they can do. Steve Harvey. They can deal with it or leave his ass alone. So and that's with any comedian. You can deal with it or leave their ass and all. Talk your shit somewhere else. If you mad about Dave Chappelle, you ain't got to support Dave Chappelle. You ain't got to watch his Netflix stuff. You ain't got to go to his show. I mean, come on now, people. You, you mad over what? You know, are, are you, you know, no offense to anybody, the transgender or gay community or black, white, green, Hispanic, orange, Asian, no offense to anybody. But comedians will poke fun at their own race. And once again, if you don't like it, they don't care. Because one way or another, they go get paid. One way or another, they go get paid. And it's, it's all about them making money. It's all about them making money. And uh, at the end of the day, it, that's what it's all about. At the end of the day, they don't really care what you think. You know, um, all these dudes is out trying to get paid. They got a career doing that. And I thought that shit was so legit. At first, you know, when I saw the dude run there and grab my, okay, at first I thought, is that part of the show? Like a lot of people. But no, nah, it wasn't part of the show. So, you know, with that being said, you know, it's uh, enough is enough. You know, with today's, we, we need some reliever, stress reliever. We need comedians to be our stress reliever. We got we to gotta find a way to get through all this madness that's going on in society, that's going on in the world. We got to have some peace of mind. You know, so if we start attacking the comedians, we start getting them on to fight them over what? So, but guess what? You, that situation is really helping Dave Chappelle. You know, it's uh, it's more money to his pocket. Now that everybody's talking about it. Now that everybody's talking about it. Here we are. Here I am recording a video about it. You know, and uh, uh, I bet you next time somebody decides to run up on stage, Dave Chappelle will be absolutely ready. But they're going to have more security now. They're going to add some security. So ain't nobody able to get up there on stage. They're going to make sure that people get screened really tough. Because they say this dude has some type of weapon. Knife or a gun or whatever he had. You know, so fortunate Dave wasn't hurt. You know, uh, he wasn't stabbed or shot, fortunately. Um, thank God for that. You know, I'm a Dave Chappelle fan. Dave Chappelle's my dude, you know. I wish I had the money to go to one of his shows, I would have went. But, hey, you know, life will go on. Life will be all right. So, that being said, subscribe to my channel. Holler back.